The Kraft Foods Company, makers of Kraft Quality Foods, presents Harold Perry as the Great Gildersleeve. The center of attraction at most any well-turned-out meal is often the salad. Cool and crisp, it's a perfect invitation to sit down and eat. But the story doesn't end there. For the trick of making salads that taste even better than they look is an easy one to learn. Just serve them with the one and only Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip, you know, is made by a secret craft recipe that gives it a famous and irresistible flavor. Not too sharp, not too bland, but just exactly right. Yes, salads are something special when they're made with Miracle Whip salad dressing. So satin smooth, so delicious, there's no wonder it's the most popular salad dressing ever created. Well, it's May 10th in Summerfield. Why on May 10th should the birds be singing so sweetly? Why should the sun be shining so brightly? Why should the scent of orange blossoms fill the air? Why, it's Marjorie's wedding day. And the great Gildersleeve is facing it with stoical calm. Well, I did a beautiful job tying this ascot tie. Some men about to give a bride away would be nervous. But not me. I wonder why my collar keeps sticking up on one side. Hmm. Forgot the collar button. <laughs> oh, here it is on the dresser. Slippery. Oyster shell. <clears throat> Come here, button. No. Under the dresser. Marjorie! Bertie's fixing my hair, Anki. Well, one of you come and retrieve my collar button. All right, Anki. Which way did it go? Well, it popped under the dresser, Bertie. I'd stoop over for it, but I don't want to break my uh, starched front. Yes, sir. Well, let Bertie stoop over. Stooping's good for Bertie. <laughs> Make you look nice and trim when you stand up and sing the solo at the wedding, Bertie. Yes, sir. Here's your collar button. Oh, thank you, Bertie. Here, Unky, I'll do it for you. Oh, I can do it myself, but if you insist. <laughs> then let Miss Marjorie do it, Mr. Gillsleeve. It'll be the last time she'll get to tie it. From now on, she'll be tying Mr. Bronco's tie. Yeah. After the day, Bronco will be roped and tied. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anki. There. Yeah. Mr. Gillsleeve, you sure look nice in that puffy tie and them striped pants. Mighty spiffy. Yeah, rental. <laughs> <laughs> well, this cutaway coat isn't bad either. I think they cut it away a little far in front, though. <laughs> sort of a plunging waistline. <laughs> well, aren't you dressing early? Dressing early? Well, Marjorie, I've attended to everything else. I'm the ringmaster of this show. May as well get dressed for it. <laughs> Where's my top hat? You gonna wear it around the house? Well, I thought I might try it on again in front of the mirror. Get the proper angle. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gillsleeve's thing by them photographers. Now, Bertie, it isn't every wedding that gets photographed by Look Magazine. And I want to look my best for Look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're simply terrific, Anki. Well... And thanks to you, this is the most wonderful wedding a girl ever had. Well, everything's running like clockwork, my dear. The church was ready at 9.05 this morning. We leave for the church in our rented limousine at 12.02. We march down the aisle at 12.50, and the groom will be kissing the bride at 1 o'clock on the nose. If Mr. Broncos is nervous as I think he's going to be, that's where the bride's going to get kissed, on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, yeah, what is it, Leroy? You'll have to call off the wedding. What? The ice cream hasn't arrived. It, oh, my goodness. And the reception's only three hours away. Leroy, ice cream isn't the most important part of the wedding. Are you kidding? It... <laughs> Don't let it bother you, my boy. I have everything under control. I'll walk down to Peavy's and check on the ice cream. Why don't you phone, Unky? Well... You don't want to walk down in a top hat and tails. All the neighbors will see you. Why do you think he's walking? Leroy... <laughs> Hello, PV. Well, hello, Mr. 
Dr. Gildersleeve? <laughs> what can I do for you this morning? Peavy, what about the ice cream for the reception? Yeah, what about it? Yeah. Well, it hasn't been delivered. No, it hasn't. Like to carry it home in that hat? <laughs> no, Peavy. There seems to be a lot of room for something up there. <laughs> That's a pretty big hat. Well, it's a top hat, Peavy, for the wedding. My, my. Well, we want to do this thing upright. I guess everything's in quite a turmoil around your house today. Not at all, Peavy. Everything's running like clockwork. If I do say so myself, I've planned this thing rather well. You don't say. <laughs> Certainly. This is one wedding that's coming off without a hitch. Well, it isn't much of a wedding without a hitch. <laughs> oh, brother. That was a little witticism, Mr. Gildersleeve. Weddings are sometimes referred to as hitches. I know, Peavy. Like hitching horses. Yes. Give me my ice cream, Peavy, and I'll be on my way. Very well. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Gildersleeve, while I answer the phone. Oh, go right ahead, Peavy. There's no hurry. The wedding can always be postponed. Peavy's Pharmacy. Yes. 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 What a yes man. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Goodbye. Who was it, Peavy, your wife? No, it was Bertie. Yeah. Bertie? Why didn't you give me the telephone? You didn't ask for it. Yeah. <laughs> well, what did she want? She wanted me to ask you to hurry home. It seems a man has arrived with a seven-passenger limousine. Say, it's later than I thought. You're driving a limousine to the church, are you, Mr. Gildersleeve? You bet. Look Magazine will be there to take pictures, and by George, they're not going to regret it. Well, now, I... Yeah, see you later, Peavy. <laughs> Have you heard anything from Bronco's parents? They're supposed to ride with us in that limousine. The Thompsons haven't showed up yet, Mr. Gilsey. You better get on the ball. We should be starting soon. The photographer wants to take pictures before the ceremony. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Gilsey? Yes, Bertie? I know there's a lot of important people in this wedding, so you can tell that look photographer he don't have to take no pictures of me. What's this, Bertie? All I did for the wedding was bake the cake, make the punch, press the dress, borrow all the neighbor's dishes, but he don't have to take no picture of me. <laughs> well, you'll have your picture taken, Bertie. Well, he don't have to take it. All I did was bake the cake, make the punch, press the dress. I know, Bertie. Where's Leroy? He don't have to take my picture. Bertie, I planned to have him take a picture of you throwing rice after the wedding. You did? Bertie's gonna have a picture taken. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, Bertie, wait a minute Where's Leroy? Oh, Leroy put on his new suit and went out to play Well, that's... Oh, my goodness Leroy? Yeah? Where are you? I'm under the house In your new blue suit? Yeah, I'm looking for Elmer That turtle at a time like this? I want to take him to the church What? <laughs> take that turtle to church? Sure Marge can't get married without the whole family being there. Ugh. Leroy, just because you share the same room doesn't mean Elmer has been admitted to the family. You come out from under that house and go wash again. Okay. <laughs> what was that? I didn't see the nail. Oh, that beautiful $16 suit. <laughs> Things are beginning to fall apart. <laughs> Hold still, Leroy. Okay. Imagine the city water commissioner sewing up pants in a cutaway coat. <laughs> Too bad Bertie doesn't have time to do this. Why sew it up, Bunk? When I hitch my pants up high, my coat covers the rip. Stand still, Leroy. You're nervous. Don't let the wedding upset you. Be more like me or we'll never get this job done. Okay. Unc, um, don't you have to thread the needle? It, oh, yeah. Uh-uh, that must be the Thompsons. At last. Yeah, it's Bronco's absent-minded father. Leroy, you shouldn't say that about Mr. Thompson. He's a fine man. He just can't remember who's getting married. I'll get it! Yeah, I'll get it, Bertie. Wonder why Mrs. Thompson isn't with him. We'll never get off to the church. Well, Mr. Thompson, come in. Oh, hello, Gildersleeve. At last, I found your house. What? You've moved, haven't you? No, I've been living here for nine years. But th the last time I came to your house, there was a car in the driveway. It's out in front now, Mr. Thompson. Oh, that explains you. Uh, 
It'll soon be time to go to the church. Where's Mrs. Thompson? Martha? Oh, she went by to check the church. The church was checked at 9.05 this morning. <laughs> well, Martha likes to double-check things. Yes, I know. Oh, who is it, Unky? Oh, hello, Mr. Thompson. Mr. Thompson, you remember Marjorie? Oh, of course. She's going to marry my son, Bronco. Yeah, now he's clicking. <laughs> you remember Bronco? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Everybody knows everybody. Now I'll tell you why I came. Well, she now, why did I come? Oh, brother. <laughs> Could it be that you're going to ride to the church with us? That's it. And Martha thought I might come over early and help. There's a wedding today, you know. Oh. <laughs> Marjorie, isn't it time you got into your wedding dress? Right away, Unky. Come on, Bertie, you can hook me up. I'm coming. Ugh. <sighs> Confusion. Oh, now, Gildersleeve, don't get nervous. Yeah, watch that needle, Unc. Well, stop twitching, Leroy. Well, you're busy with Leroy, but he's busy with Marjorie. I think I'll wander into the dining room and look at the cake. Good, good. Uh, how's Bronco holding up? Yeah, how many times has he fainted? <laughs> oh, Bronco's in fine spirits. In fact, when we left him, he was shaving and singing. Well, happy bridegroom. What was he singing, the prisoner's song? <laughs> Leroy? Ow! Uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, say, this is a beautiful wedding cake. <laughs> Three stories. That's right. Bertie baked that cake. Leroy, if you don't stand still... But I got an itch. <laughs> Too bad if a beautiful white cake like this should get dusty. Yeah. Gildersleeve, how would it be if I covered it with this long piece of muslin? You're right ahead, Mr. Thompson. Just keep yourself occupied. Ah. Yeah. <clears throat> That'll protect it. Uh. Mm. Frosting's a little sticky. Oh, well, you can always wash the muslin, eh, Gildersleeve? Yeah. All through, Leroy. Uh -huh, that's it. Another emergency met. Everything's running like clockwork again. Miss Gildersleeve. Yes, Bertie? Would you bring up Miss Marjorie's bridal veil from the dining room? Bridal veil? <laughs> bridal veil? <laughs> Zeke, stop the clock. Now I have to launder a bridal veil. <laughs> The Great Gildersleeve will be back in just a minute. Ever have almost a free-for-all at your house, the mealtime kind? I mean, with the children refusing the salad and you and Dad having to put a foot down. Well, if you do have such discussions with any member of the family, here's help in a hurry. Get Miracle Whip tomorrow and spring a big surprise. Then watch them go for their salads. For Miracle Whip is different from all other salad dressings, different and better so much better that it's far and away the most popular salad dressing ever created. You see, Miracle Whip is made by a unique recipe, not just a salad dressing, not a mayonnaise. It combines the qualities of both, gives you a perfection of flavor you get in it alone. Ask for the one and only Miracle Whip. And try some of the other Kraft dressings, too. Kraft mayonnaise, Kraft French dressing, and Kraft Miracle French dressing. Your grocer is featuring all of them during a big salad carnival this month. You'll find some wonderful salad ideas, too, in the Salad Carnival ad running in this week's Saturday Evening Post. When there's a wedding, everybody concerned seems to get a little excited. Let's look in on the bridegroom. He seems to have things under control. The girl that I marry will have to be as soft and as pink as a nursery. <clears throat> well, he seems a little nervous, too. Now let's get back to where the nerves are really jumping. Bertie, is that veil dry yet? I'm drying it with the iron. There. That does it. Let me have it. I'll run up to Marjorie's room with it. And may I take it up for you, Gildersleeve? No, Mr. Thompson. Oh. I ain't taking no chances. I'm taking it up. Yeah, all right, Bertie. It still looks like muslin to me. Oh, I'm sorry about the cake, Gildersleeve. Well, don't worry about it, Mr. Thompson. Bertie patched it up. She took some frosting off the backside and put it on the front side. <laughs> Off the front. 
want. Yeah. <laughs> now, Leroy. Well, I don't want to get cheated on my own sister's wedding. I can't imagine what's keeping Martha. She was invited, wasn't she? Yes. <laughs> Miss Gilsleaf, Miss Marjorie's gone. She is? Gone? Bertie, what are you saying? She's gone. She ain't in a room. Well, where would she go? She knows she's getting married, doesn't she? Yeah. Please, Mr. Thompson. <laughs> Maybe she couldn't wait and walk to the church. In her wedding outfit, Leroy? Well, you walk downtown in yours. See, <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet that's Marjorie. She probably went outside for a little air. Well, that's logical. Come in, Marjorie. Mr. Gildersleeve, my name is Martha. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, Mother Thompson. <laughs> Come in, Martha. We've been waiting for you. Well, I had to rearrange the flowers. Is everything here in order, Mr. Gildersleeve? Well, Marjorie's missing. Marjorie's missing? You don't suppose she backed out, do you? Oh, good heavens. Bertie, she wouldn't back out right before the wedding. Well, if you're going to back out of a wedding right before is the last chance you got. <laughs> <laughs> I did once while the organ was playing. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Gildersleeve. I had a feeling I should be here to take charge. Yeah, well, I'm sure Marjorie's upstairs someplace. Now, everybody be calm. Yes, Martha, uh, be calm. Uh, she must be in her room. Marjorie? <laughs> You're not here. Little Marjorie. Where is she gone? Say, the door to my room is closed. Marjorie? Yes, Unky? Oh, there you are. Well, and don't you look beautiful in your dress? We've been looking all over for you, my dear. I'm sorry, Unky. Marjorie, what's the matter? Nothing. I just felt like coming to your room and being all alone for a little while before I have to leave you. Oh, my little girl. You've been a wonderful uncle... I know I'm going to be happy with Bronco, but I've been happy here, too. Oh, my dear, dry your pretty eyes. That's it. The people are waiting at the church. Well, it's just that... Well, Unky, you're the only father I've ever known. What the heck? Let him wait. <laughs> So you finally got here, Gildy. Where's Marjorie? She's gone in, Judge. Don't you have something to do? As I recall, you're the best man. Yes, indeed, but I had to check to see that the bride arrived. Bronco was getting worried. You don't have to worry about this end of the wedding, Judge. I've got everything under control. Well, now, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Phoebe, and Floyd's here, too. Hi, Kamish. I closed up the barbershop just to see if you'd trip coming down the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, Floyd. Well, if you gentlemen will excuse me, I'll rejoin the groom in the vestry. Hey, Commish. Yeah? Now that the judge is gone, which one's the getaway car? Well, it's the... Look. What? Look here, I want to wire this bomb to the engine. Floyd, there'll be none of that. It won't hurt nothing. Just blow off the hood and stink up the car. <laughs> which one is it? Floyd, you'll get no such information out of me. Hey, Unc, Marge wants you the music starting. Good luck, Mr. Gildersleeve. Oh, uh, thanks, Peavy. And when the minister asks who gives this bride, you say, I do. Yeah. I know that, Peavy. Coming, Marjorie. How do you feel, Walter? Who? You, Bronco. Oh, me. Oh, that's right. My name is Walter. <laughs> You're not nervous, are you? Nervous? Me? Oh, no. Huh. Judge Hooker? Yes, Bronco? I'm scared to death. <laughs> well, that's a good sign, my boy. It shows you're taking this seriously. And marriage is a serious step. I'll say. It's the most beautiful venture given to mankind. The dedication of one life to another. Yeah. Oh, do you have the ring, Judge? Don't worry, Bronco. I have it sewed in my vest pocket. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I better take my penknife out and clip the threads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What time is it, Judge? Won't be long now, my boy. Bertie's getting ready to sing the solo. Won't be long now, Marjorie. Bertie's getting ready to sing the solo. Unky, I'm glad you're with me. Yeah, so am I, maybe. <laughs> All the people are turning around to look at us. Yeah, courage, my dear. Not so fast, Marjorie. Pace yourself. Walter. Wilt thou have this woman to thy wedded wife to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony? Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her so long as ye both shall live? I will. Marjorie, wilt thou have this man to thy wedded husband to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony. Wilt thou love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him so long as you both shall live? I will. as much as Walter and Marjorie have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and his company, and there too have given and pledged their troth each to the other, and have declared the same by giving and receiving a ring and by joining hands, I pronounce that they are man and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. Little Marjorie. And now the groom may kiss the bride, if he so desires. Oh, Marge. Bronco. Where's my handkerchief? <laughs> Thompson, relatives. <laughs> Let's get in the car, huh? All right, Mr. Gildersleeve. Well, we lost a son, but we gained a daughter. That's true. And she was beautiful. Uh, Gildersleeve, you lost a daughter, but you gained a son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, we're all one big happy family. Let me help you in, Mrs. Thompson. Oh, thank you, Mr. Gildersleeve. You get in the back with me, Leroy. Okay. Now the 
the mushy stuff is over, let's go eat the cake. Yeah. <laughs> Growing boy. Mr. Gildersleeve, when I arrived this morning, I was inclined to be a little critical. You, Mother Thompson? But I must say, everything went off perfect. Yeah, just like clockwork. I even kept Floyd from tinkering with the kid's car. Oh? Yeah. I wouldn't tell him which one was theirs. <laughs> Naturally, all of you were invited to Marjorie's wedding, but for those of you who couldn't actually be at the church, the complete picture story is in the current issue of Look Magazine, now on the newsstands. We'll return to the great Gildersleeve and the festivities in just a moment. If you're not buying them already, it probably won't be long until this summer's tomatoes are on the market. So let's plan to show them off in a dish that'll really delight the family and bring compliments from your guests. Choose the smallest and rosiest tomatoes you can find, stuff them with coleslaw made with famous Miracle Whip, and serve on a bed of greens. They're delicious. Just be sure you make them with famous Miracle Whip salad dressing. Made by a secret recipe, Miracle Whip combines the qualities of boiled dressing and fine mayonnaise. Has a wonderful flavor, tangy yet delicate, that simply can't be copied. It has a velvety smooth texture, too because of a special beater used exclusively by Kraft. Like millions of others, you'll prefer the one and only Miracle Whip. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. 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 <laughs> Love those Thompsons. Everybody gone, Mr. Gilsley? Yeah, the reception's over. Marjorie and Bronco are on their way. There's just the three of us left, Bertie. You and I and little Leroy... In a sink full of dishes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, brother, this couch feels good. Boy, what a day. There's one piece of cake left, Dunk. Can I have it? Sure, go ahead, my boy. Uh, I don't think I want it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll go to bed. Now, Leroy, I know it's a temptation to let down after it's all over, but let's get the house straightened up. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, get all the furniture back Wash the dishes Vacuum the rugs yeah, uh, uh. What a character <laughs> <laughs> What a family <laughs> Good night, folks The Great Gildersleeve is played by Harold Perry the show is written by Paul West, John Elliott, and Andy White, with music by Jack Meekin. Mary Lee Robb is Marjorie, and Dick Crenna plays Bronco. This is Jay Stewart saying good night for the Kraft Foods Company, maker of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next Wednesday and every Wednesday for the further adventures of The Great Gildersleeve. Here's a taste test that counts. Try any meat without mustard. Then add a golden dab of Kraft prepared mustard to your next bite. Taste the difference. There are two kinds of Kraft mustard, you know. Salad mustard, delicately spiced for those who like their mustard mild, or Kraft prepared mustard with snappy horseradish added. Have both on hand. For remember this, when you add a little mustard, you add a lot of tang. Get Kraft prepared mustard. Now, join the excitement of Break the Bank on NBC.